from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Yes, three children may have been stabbed in broad daylight on the streets of Dublin. Yes, this may have something to do with Ireland having to absorb vast numbers of migrants at breakneck speed. And yes, this may be sparking unprecedented social unrest. But you know what the real problem is? Conor McGregor's social media posts. That our incitement hatred legislation is just not up to date. It's not up to date for the social media age. We are going to get them. Ma, 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 ma. Shut your mouth. How dare the MMA star checks notes express anger at kids being knifed outside a primary school shut him down the individuals uh, who post messages and images online uh, that stir up hatred and violence we are going to get them shut your fucking mouth you'll do nothing you'll do fucking nothing turns out the algerian migrant who stabbed the kid should have been deported 20 years ago but the authorities not only let him stay in ireland they gave him a passport and full citizenship the same guy was caught carrying a knife in may six months ago and instead of getting him off the streets they did nothing you'll do nothing connor's spicy tweets though well that can't be tolerated we are gonna get them now we learn that the guard eye the irish police is conducting an investigation into mcgregor as part of an inquiry into the dissemination of online hate speech for what being honest I just speak the truth. I don't talk mm -hmm. trash. I speak. I speak the truth. He condemned the violence and criminality while expressing an opinion shared by the majority of Irish people about the threats posed by mass migration. And he's the one being targeted after all this. I'd like to take this chance to apologise to absolutely nobody. If only they cracked down as hard on the kiddie stabber as they did the UFC champions ex posts. We are going to get them. But this isn't just about Conor McGregor. The Irish people as a whole are now facing the wrath of the censorship industry industrial complex. To all those cowardly champions of Ireland who took to the streets of Dublin last night, let me say one thing. Ask your sisters, ask your friends, ask everyone you know what they fear most on our streets. They're afraid of you, afraid of your anger and your rage, afraid of your violence, your hate, and how you blame others for your problems. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you ran a poll in Ireland, are you afraid of people stabbing your kids to death? Or are you afraid of people who get angry about your kids being stabbed to death? The results would be pretty conclusive. We are going to get them. Now Elon Musk warns that the scope of this new hate speech law is so broad, people could be arrested and imprisoned for having memes on their phones when a deranged person stabs five-year-old girls on the street. <laughs> When an Irishman sends an edgy meme to the group chat. All units, go, go, hit them. Go, go. The Justice Minister said that under this legislation, another protected group would be migrant status, which means that people complaining about migrants or so-called refugees who are being dumped en masse now in small Irish towns and communities, they could be targeted for hate speech. We also had a government minister come out last year and he talked about these community protests that have been happening in Ireland against mass immigration, against this new plantation. And he said that they were rushing to get the hate speech legislation through, that they could target the, you know, what they call far-right agitators, who are basically just people speaking up for these communities. So it's very clear the purpose of this legislation. It's intended to silence the Irish people. It's intended to enshrine in law that you're basically breaking the law if you say that the Irish people are sovereign over Ireland. But don't worry, because they've openly explained why in their own words they're restricting your freedom. And it's for your own good. When you think about it, all law, all legislation is about the restriction of freedom. That's exactly what we're doing here, is we are restricting freedom, but we're doing it for the common good. Ma, 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 ma. Shut your mouth. And speaking of rampant government abuse of power, we're entering a new realm of tyranny. The three-letter agencies, which were once symbols of protection and order, seem to have been weaponized against the American people. The IRS has amassed an arsenal of 4,500 guns, 5 million rounds of ammunition, 621 shotguns, 539 sniper rifles, and 15 sub machine guns. All to deal with the American people while the border remains virtually undefended. Now let me tell you about NMN and why another three letter agency, the FDA, is gunning for that. This isn't just any supplement, it's a game changer. A recent Harvard study showed that NMN can help reduce weight, cholesterol and even blood pressure in overweight adults. This thing has been dubbed the limitless pill and can take 10 to 20 years off you. It's like the fountain of youth in a bottle. I mean I take it every day and I'm 41 now, not looking too shabby eh? But the F 
FDA is trying to keep it away from you. Why? Because a strong healthy population is harder to control. The FDA is attempting to change the status of NMN supplements to treat it as a drug, which of course would allow the pharmaceutical companies to control it. They want to corner the market and take away the supplement from you, and have you fork out vast amounts for prescriptions that you have to get insurance to pay for. In times like these, we need to be vigilant, we need to stay prepared, we need to take control of our health, because if we don't, they will. You know I've been working with Black Forest for the best part of a year now, and they've agreed to give my viewers a whopping 25% off at checkout when you enter code PAUL25. Now this stuff isn't cheap, so it's a great opportunity to stock up now before the restrictions come into play. So I urge you to get your supply of NMN via my link in the description box below before it's too late. Seems like there's a common thread emerging here, where the Irish are becoming second-class citizens in their own country. People don't realise how extreme Ireland's hate speech bill is, up to 12 months in prison for refusing to give password to your devices if suspected of committing hate speech. 12 months for refusing to allow the state to read messages between you and your spouse, it's authoritarian. The Irish Prime Minister seems really concerned about social media posts. We are going to get them. Maybe you should check his own. Talking about how a little girl was lost and has now been returned when she was literally kidnapped by Hamas terrorists. Connor responded by calling him a disgrace. Post messages online. Shut your mouth. But according to the New York Times, the riots weren't caused by a deranged nutcase stabbing kids. Oh, no, 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 no. They were caused by rumours spread online by the far right. Some outlets are still reporting that the riots only occurred because of, quote, unsubstantiated reports that the man who attacked the children was from Algeria. But he was from Algeria, the police confirmed it. That's not an unsubstantiated rumour, it's a fact. They're trying to frame all this resentment like it was caused by one incident, one rumour. It wasn't. The resentment is over the Irish being subsumed at the behest of a global project to turn their country into a vast, meaningless economic zone. Solely for the benefit of the international elite and big business. Ireland's taken in so many migrants, their population is growing by 2% every year. In the last 30 years alone, the population has swelled from 3.5 million to going on for 5.5 million. What was largely a homogenous society just 20 years ago has been completely transformed with 2022 census numbers telling us that over 20% of the people in Ireland are now foreign born. They want at least 600,000 more migrants in Ireland by 2040. That's a 30% population increase on top of what they've already had. <laughs> totally unsustainable and the Irish people again and again have said they don't want it. 75% think Ireland has taken in too many asylum seekers. The Irish people are suffering through a housing shortage of over a quarter of a million homes. Yet the government is opening the border for new people like Walmart swings open its doors on Black Friday. <laughs> Have you seen the queues just to view new houses that come on the market in Dublin? Very diverse in nature, aren't they? Dublin is yet another European capital where the natives are now a majority minority. Can you guess what the most popular boy's name was in Galway in 2022? Richard, Richard. It was not Richard. Was it? Oh, fuck. Didn't see that coming. It wasn't Richard. No, would you like to know what it was? Yeah. Right, uh, I'll, I'll let you try and answer it first. I'd say there. Jack. I'd say uh, Mohammed. <laughs> You're correct. What? <laughs> ah, fuck off. was not Mohammed? In Galway? Mohammed! Record numbers of homeless people, two thirds of whom are Irish. Yet huge groups of men can rock up from Afghanistan, Iran, or Algeria and get handed free accommodation on the spot. Excuse me, oh, I am a resident here. Yeah, okay. I want to know what's going on. All men. All men. Where's all the women and children? Why is it all men that have suddenly arrived in our village? All these fellas. Oh, man. That's why they're angry. And if you think passing laws that lock up people for spicy social media posts is going to do anything but increase that anger, you're delusional. If you think targeting Conor McGregor for communicating what millions of Irish people are feeling is the solution, then you're beyond delusional. How about doing something about the actual problem rather than going after the people who complain about it? We are going to get them. <laughs> Shut your mouth. You'll do nothing.
If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs> Thank you.